No! No, 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 no! Dude, what the heck, Mr. Mangina? Get away from me! Hey, what's happening? Raz here on Nalio Gaming. In this video, we're going to be checking out the inner friend on the PlayStation 4. We're jumping right in. Alright, so we got new game, level selection, settings, and credits. Go with the new game. What? What the heck? What the hell? Looks like his face was blown off. Is this this is, this is so creepy right what the I don't even know what to make of it R1 he scratches his head Left thumbstick, we move. Right thumbstick looks around. Toys under the bed. Old dinosaur, dinosaur uh, statue. Hmm. Okay, we have a crack in the wall. Alright, sorry to interrupt, but I wanted to take a minute to let you know a little bit more about the inner uh, I just felt it was important for context so that you know uh, why it is uh, that you're seeing what you're seeing, why the game is playing the way it's playing. Um, so basically going into the game, I didn't know very much about it. This is pretty I tricky. saw this, pretty much this exact graphic that you see on screen right now. Um, it was a still image of this graphic. And besides this, all I had heard was that it was a, a very deep story. I was just, I was into it just knowing uh, that very little bit. So if we scroll down here on the website, it says, Reconnect with your inner child, immersive storytelling, an eerie adventure, diverse gameplay mechanics, collect all artifacts. Now that tells you a good amount right there. Land on one of these? But if we head over to the developer PlayMind, right uh, if we head over to their press kit, we can see the description of the inner friend says, led by a mysterious shadow. Face fears and nightmares inhabiting its a materialized oh, subconscious universe. The... Diving into a unique and eerie world, relive okay. the shadow's childhood memories, It'll collecting me them to restore what was once its safe haven. Journey always Next deeper through the subconscious, unravel a rich but wordless story and encounter gruesome beings whom it is so necessary it is to escape. To jump. Ultimately, however, you have to face them. The inner friend features a rich visual environment supported by immersive soundscape and cinematic soundtrack, enhancing immersive and emotional moments. Movement, imagery, and music are the main ways for the player to interact with the shadow, their guide throughout the descent. Dark, scary, and mysterious, the world of the inner friend is a surrealist representation of memories and fears. And then if we scroll down to features, oh, no says immersive storytelling immerse yourself in a visually driven narrative with oh, no. a minimalist interface an eerie adventure 
journey through a surreal world inspired yeah, by childhood nightmares in psychology. Diverse gameplay mechanics, overcome what obstacles, solve heck? puzzles, and defeat nightmarish foes. Reconnect with your inner child, earn the Shadow's Trust to unlock new challenges and pieces Seems of the story. Collect all artifacts, rebuild the Shadow's safe haven to save him from his darkest fears. So as you can tell by the description, it's going to be it's going to be a different type of experience that you're going to see play out in this uh, very first gameplay video of mine. And I just I felt it was important that you kind of knew what it was you're going to see. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you. I felt it was important. And uh, this is also a good time to let you know that I was provided with a game key. Thanks to Chris over at Home Run PR on behalf of the developer Playmind. So a shout out to uh, Chris and Home Run PR and Playmind and everybody else involved. I really yeah, appreciate this opportunity, like and uh, yeah, let's get back to the gameplay. School hallway. Not really sure what to make of this yet. Kind of freaky. Kind of trippy. What is going on with this guy? He just screamed. There's one of them over there. There's one right here. Oh, there's a bunch of them here. crying why are you crying I think I'm stuck. Nope. Don't let me jump. Wasn't letting me. Vaccination prevents death. Can I jump that? Bitch, I could jump that. R2. Interesting.
his footsteps sound super heavy. Makes it even creepier. Like the bass from his heels hitting the ground almost. Like you would hear that in real life. What is going on, man? This game is so weird. Yeah, if someone was barefoot running and their heels were hitting the ground, that's what it would sound like. Lab, Bunsen burner. They're afraid of something, these little guys. Guys sitting in the sink. I'm just waiting to get freaked out. Oh, jeez. All right. Figure this puzzle out. Up or down? Gotta go up. R2. Like a collectible or something. Cigarette butts. So weird. Oh, dude, that scared me. The little guy. He was not there, and now he is. This is so freaking freaky, man. I just don't know what to make of it. Okay. Okay. The door's got to creak open. Okay, I guess we're going down this time. Oh, now we're in that room. Okay, we're good. We saved them. No! Sorry, buddy. I didn't... Sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. There we go. Now we saved them. 
No. Man, I think I screwed up. Wait a minute. Did I make that jump? Nope. Certainly cannot. All right, it starts me back here. But how do we get out of this room? All right, we have two stacks of books. I put them that way. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There we go. There we go. Big fan of puzzle games. Horror games uh, freak me the heck out. Or anything scary. It seems more like psychedelic um the music is definitely eerie and could be yeah there's definitely a, a some type of psychedelic horror edge to it I, i'm not really totally sure yet Look at this guy. He's got cordyceps all over him from uh, The Last of Us. Okay, so I like this. This is cool because it's like these little puzzles. <laughs> he didn't like that. She, he, it didn't like that.
shoot. I'm gonna just screwed up. Yeah, I think I'm stuck in the corner right now. Yeah, I'm stuck in the corner. I go there first. I'm stuck. So I have to go that way back first. Yeah, I, I have to. That first set of books, I have to move backward first. we try to do one side at a time like something like this yeah that frees up A very uh, Stranger Things type soundtrack. I would expect to hear that soundtrack in the background of like a Stranger Things episode. <laughs> oh, look at him pointing at me. That's hilarious. Freely move the room right now. But can I stop it completely? Um, no, that's it. That's all I can do. This is awesome. Alice. Alice in Wonderland. to that room. Hmm. Yo, yo. globe we got the book there's a globe and a ball missing oh now it's not oh we don't have the we don't have the globe yet we gotta go back in the globe a picture of that teacher yeah we gotta go back in
I just kind of went for whatever was in front of me. It's weird because it's at an angle. Strange looking. That could be a globe. I don't know. Wow, look at that. That's cool looking. Big giant art pieces. Red balloon. Melted. Popsicle. Heck. This is so weird. Hey, we got a paintbrush. So the noises kind of call you like toward them. I kind of wish I could turn down the thud of his feet hitting the ground. Yeah, I don't know why the bass is like kind of bothering my ears from his footsteps. Yeah, it's really bothering me, to be honest. I'm going to try to ignore it, but... Definitely the loudest noise that's constant. a little much cool looking too behind that. Wow. That was close. Darn it. supposed to get there I can't run faster not letting me run any faster 
Is there a way to run faster? Oh, there doesn't seem to be a way to run faster, so what's up? Just gonna get lucky, I guess. This is ridiculous. There's got to be a way to run faster or something. That was lucky. Timed it out perfect. I left early. Where's this globe at? There he is. Thudding from his running is driving me mad. Okay, this changed now. No, it's the same. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, it's a new one. It's a new puzzle. I have to start back at the beginning. No. Nope. Okay, we're good. So, is there two in this one? There is, of course. No, 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 no! Come on. <clears throat> that was baloney. love puzzle games but some of them just frustrate me okay this is weird dude doesn't have a dude doesn't have any man parts he's got a mangina dude's got a mangina and he's got no freaking face dude's got a mangina he's got no face if you don't know what I'm talking about, what a mangina is, I will definitely put one on the screen right now from uh, 
What was it? Fantasy Factory. Okay, we got that. Mr. Mangina, see you later. Is that the globe? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. How hard are they gonna make this for me? supposed to get through there oh you gotta go to the left Sounds so weird. was close. Now what? Did I really just go in a circle for no freaking reason? What was the point of that? Why is he going the wrong way right now? I swear he was just running the wrong way. I was pressing left and he was going right. Same thing with that. Controls are weird. Oh, I gotta go inside the glass now to the center. Oh, this is so weird. Okay. really you it is you Teddy
through the painting. Let's go. Mr. Manjana? Hey, we got all our toys back. What? I guess I didn't find the globe yet. The time. Yeah, I guess I didn't find the globe yet. I found the teddy. And that thing that was in the windowsill. Oh, it was a robot that he was making. Still no globe, though. I wonder if that was, like, in one of the first levels, or in the first level and I missed it. Wait, what was that? Oh, the brush. That's right, the paintbrush. Yeah, we definitely missed the globe somewhere, though. And we missed a painting. There must have been a painting in there too that I missed. Hmm. Interesting. What a strange game. I'm kind of, I'm intrigued and I, I'm a little freaked out and I'm a little, I like the puzzles, even though they're a little frustrating because of the movement. The movement's odd. It's not like the thumbstick doesn't move the direction that you push. The character doesn't move that direction. It moves. I don't even know how to describe it. It moves like. Tor toward all the time. Forward. I don't know. If that makes sense. It's pretty funny that <laughs> the guy, there's a mangina guy. Wait, weren't we just here? Or is this a, yeah, this is a different one. Here, let's go this one. No, let's go this one. Whatever this is, let's go into it. Wow. Nothing, nothing special. There it is. Random levels. What is this? That bass from his footsteps is driving me nuts. Okay, there's a picture for the wall. So there, in each each of these, there must be a, a picture, and then whatever, you know, collectible things for his room. That's all I can hear. They gotta lower that. They gotta lower that. Oh, yeah, it's too much for me. Oh, that scared me. That freaking scared me. I'm just running around pressing R2. 
Oh, we got another one. Is this grape head? Yeah, this one's grape. Grapes for head. Yeah, that's not weird. He's another mangina guy. That's not creepy or anything. It's like playing hide and go seek with him. He's got scissors in his hands. Oh, uh, you hear the scissors? Witch, 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 witch. <laughs> oh man, this game is nuts. Look at him coming at me. Witch, 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 witch. The sound of the scissors is nuts, man. Let's see, I'm gonna juke him. Ready? That sound of the scissors is so wild. Witch, witch, witch. He's gonna come out of nowhere, watch. The freaking horror game, man. I'm telling you, this is nuts. It's a psychedelic horror game. Oh no, you mother! God, he scared the crap out of me! Oh my god! Scared the living heck out of me right there. All right, so he's going to be right to my left, right there. See? Witch, 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 witch. He got me because I didn't press R2 in time. Oh, dude, this has got my heart racing. <laughs> that giggle, though. Uh. Ah! No, all I see is grapes. Get them off of me. Get Mr. Mangina off of me, please. Watch, watch. That noise, dude. No! No! He's got man boobs. Literally. Mr. Mangina has man boobs. No! No! Not fair! Get him away from me. Yes! Ah! Oh. No! <gasps> no, 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 no. No! What am I supposed to do? This is like my worst nightmare, I swear. No, 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 no. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh no, where is he? Oh my gosh. I don't know where he is. This is the worst part. Oh no. 
Not fair, not cool, not cool, not cool, not cool. Yes! <sighs> Finally, get me away from that freaking guy. Um. Oh, great. Freaking great. Oh, man, where is he? Are you kidding me? He just appears out of nowhere? Don't tell me I'm starting over. No, I would quit if I had to start all over. I better not be starting over right here. What? That's not it? I guess that's not it. It must be right here on the right. Oh no! Come on! Dude, what the heck, Mr. Mangina? Get away from me! No! No, 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 no! No! Please, 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 please. No! Oh my gosh. It's a different one every time. It must be procedurally generated. It's gotta be this one. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Please be it. Please be it. Please be it. What the heck? A dead bird? I'm sorry about your bird, buddy. Bad luck. Bronze PlayStation trophy. Is he still in here? Look at all the dead birds. That's freaking weird. Dude, this game is so nuts. It really is. It's freaking bonkers. Mr. Mangina. Alright. Did we get the globe? I don't think so. I doubt it, actually. We did not get the globe. It's definitely got to be something early on that I missed. Got a page. But maybe not from here. Maybe not... Maybe one of these pages? What page do we get then? We definitely got a page. I'm positive we did.
etch a sketch an etch a sketch and a radio but where is that page that we got is that it right there did I put them both up at the same time it must have oh there it goes there it goes there it goes all right all right so this freaking psychotic crazy game man i got my heart racing definitely definitely interesting wow <laughs> i'm speechless i mean wow i did not expect that All right, so that's where I'm going to end my first look at the inner friend here on the PlayStation 4. I appreciate you watching on Nalio Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at RiseUp44 and at Nalio Gaming. And please consider subscribing to me here on Nalio Gaming. So just to let you know, I was provided with a game key thanks to Chris over at Home Run PR on behalf of PlayMind. And this game is super interesting. It is definitely caught me off guard i didn't really know i didn't really know what to expect uh the little bit that i did see from it and the little bit that i read about it um i don't remember where and i could be totally wrong but some somewhere i read that it took inspiration from like alice in wonderland and that kind of uh that eerie side of uh like alice mad alice uh what, it, what was it? Alice Madness Returns or um, just like that really creepy, eerie, uh, kind of mysterious, uh, psychedelic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I hope you get what I, where I'm heading with this. But I read that it was kind of heading toward that direction and that piqued my interest. So I figured let's give it a shot. I reached out. Really happy to have this opportunity to... Uh, play it a little bit and you know we'll be jumping back in to play some more because i am even though those mangina nightmare dudes that are chasing me scare the crap out of me uh the puzzles are really interesting and at times yes frustrating uh because of the movement it's uh still got my interest enough to for me to want to jump back in and play more and uh definitely get further in this uh the story it's strange how the story is being told obviously it's this uh you know, it's this young kid that we're kind of reliving his, uh, I guess his his past in a way through his uh, his room, which I guess was like his his safe haven, which kind of makes sense. You know, I had, he had all this stuff in his room that he worked on and uh, enjoyed and played with, and we're kind of like going back through these different levels, and we're finding certain little things, you know, continuing and being su successful at the puzzles. We're able to get more and more of these uh things to bring back to his room so definitely interesting i will be playing more and uh if you have any questions or comments leave them below i'll do my best to answer them um i'm going to be looking a bit more into the backstory of the game uh, i also did read that this is like a this is like a experimental type game from uh the developers over at Playmind. so um i'm i'm definitely interested in uh seeing more and I think they're out to something. Uh, these these psychedelic, uh, really deep uh, story type games are they definitely have their own place, and uh, I enjoy them. So I'm looking forward to playing more. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it off there for now. I do appreciate you watching. Uh, again, if you have any comments, leave them below. Click that like button if you enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.